We are here live at SEMA 2019. It's day three. We've already seen a number of really beautiful bills, but we have a special treat today. Um, here in the Eaton booth is this beautiful Bronco, courtesy of Gateway Customs. And we have Seth Brigette, who is here, built the Bronco, to tell us about it, to tell us about what they've done, talk a little bit about Gateway. And this particular vehicle has kind of a special opportunity for people in it. It does. Um, yeah, it does. And so, I guess that's one way to put it. We will give it away a little bit. But, so can you tell us about this, the process of building it, um, some exciting things that people would like to know. Yeah, I mean, it's all exciting. That's... It is all exciting. So Gateway Bronco builds the first generation Ford Bronco. We're right. licensed from Ford Motor Company, and this is the result. It is a Bronco that's powered by a Ford Coyote five liter engine, but it also has a Harrop supercharger on top. It's the same supercharger technology as the new GT500. It's the most horsepower ever created in a Ford Mustang, but you can get that same technology in a Bronco through a Harrop USA supercharger. It also has, as you can imagine, all of the four-link suspension, the heavy-duty off-road, as well as on-road performance. So you can take this 600-plus horsepower to rear wheel and put it to action and have a lot of fun with Fox Racing Shocks, Goodyear Wrangler Ultra Train tires. We're exclusive partners with Goodyear on this. We're exclusive partners with Eaton for all of the product that Eaton provides us, including the Detroit True Track rear differential, taking all that power and putting it to the ground. So this is, um, you know, it's a special vehicle because it's fun. It's easy to drive. You can drive it. We did an hour of Manhattan bumper to bumper traffic in this. Get it out into a little bit of free space and let that 700 plus horse go. And it's a lot of fun. Uh, what was the incentive to put such a big engine in? Well, we built it for Brian Blaney, NASCAR driver. Okay, driver, so there you driver. go. It can't be an average Right, vehicle. right. <laughs> You can't have to go slow anywhere. <laughs> and so to take all that power and put it to a stop, we have Will Wood four-wheel disc brakes. Excellent. We've got all aluminum billet wheels, custom just to fit around the brakes. But it has to be nice on the inside as well. So we have powered retractable steps. We have power windows with vintage handles. You know, it also has Porsche leather, genuine Porsche leather, and then it has barn wood in the back. And in the back of this, here's really the story, is in the back of this, the tailgate has the logo from Ryan Blaney's grandfather's race car. Wow. So his grandfather passed from Alzheimer's, and that's the story here. He asked us okay. to build this Bronco for him, so we can auction this Bronco off. Here's the opportunity. There we go. At Barrett Jackson Scottsdale in January. So it all goes to the Alzheimer's Association, Excellent. the Ryan Blaney Family Foundation. Proceeds go to Alzheimer's, and that's Excellent. why we built this truck. That's spectacular. So we have a couple other questions before we do a walk around of the video, excuse me, a video walk around of the vehicle itself. As we all know, and as everybody is highly anticipating, the new Bronco is coming back, right? That's what we understand. That's what we're understanding. What do you think that's going to look at for the custom Bronco market? Obviously, people who want the real thing, the vintage, the customized version of that, they're not going away. But what do you think it's going to do for the market in general? Well, we see it only enhancing the vintage market, right? Because we have a market that people want the vintage look, but they want to have the modern powertrain. We give up to a five-year bumper-to-bumper warranty with our vehicles. So GatewayBronco.com, you can see this vehicle and many others, all that come with a warranty. Excellent. Well, the current customer who wants the new Bronco, they're going to want that Bronco. Many times they'll say they're going to buy one of those and buy one of ours. So that's the uniqueness here in this market. It's just going to rise the water for all of us. Excellent. Do you feel comfortable doing a little walk around for us? Absolutely. Pointing out some, uh, some highlights? I'm going to back up just a little so we can get the whole thing in the sure. shot. Because um, it's such beautiful and it's such a beautiful color. I always kind of hate to ask about the color, but it is like just this stunning blue. Yeah, thank um, you. Look at the, the wheels are important here because that's all billet aluminum wheels that we uh, we have manufactured and it is just a, a stunning way to accent this overall vehicle. Good Goodyear Wrangler Ultra Train tires, the Harrop USA Supercharger in the engine bay. We really Let's take designed a look at the this to make it look like this vehicle came from the factory this way. It is just uh, nestled in there. 
with the supercharger, with the Coyote engine, and just turn the key and drive it daily if you'd like to. So I have to tell you a story. So well, I, I have a particular affection for Broncos, as anybody who has followed us knows. I cover them a lot. Um, and a lot of that affection ironically comes from the fact that my great-grandparents had a Bronco. We hear that kind of story right? all the time. So the thing about the Bronco that always made the most impression on me was that they had the back seat that bolted in. Yes. But they would have never bolted in. Uh -huh. And frequently we used it to go on fishing trips in Western Wyoming, where my family was from. And we would just put the seat in the back for yeah. there to be more than one of us. There's not a lot of paved roads in Western Wyoming. And we would go bumming along, bumming along, get a big bump, seat would tip over with my great-grandmother and I. We would have to get out. And we couldn't, like, fish ourselves out. Right? It was completely in the back. So they'd have to get out and, like, tip us back uh, over. And then we would just keep doing this. Oh, that's but good. never did it occur to anyone to bolt the seat back in. So every time I see something like this with the open and I think about what they're going to use it for, I, uh, I have a great deal, like I said, of affection for it. Yeah. Um, well, this is all uh, German square weave carpet, genuine Porsche leather, and power window lifts Ugh. that look vintage. It's amazing. It is really stunning. The it's... barn wood in the back to me is yeah. That is uh, That's just remarkable to me. And, um, you know, our, our, we, we call them automotive artists because that's really what our team has become as an automotive artist and that Blaney and Sons lumber special. So Ryan's grandfather paid for his racing through his lumber company. Okay. And we found this on one of his old race cars in a picture and we duplicated it here for this pump. Excellent. Well, we're going to kind of go around the side to just finish yeah. this tour. And we want to thank you so much. Um, any other builds that you are kind of looking forward to? Obviously, this is the focus of today's interview, but you guys always have uh, we always something do. in we the wings. World's first here at SEMA, world's first at the Roush booth, is the world's first Gen 3 Coyote wow. with 10 speed automatic. The controller came directly from Ford R&D, came straight to us, wow. and it is in the Roush booth with the Roush supercharger. Great. And Audi engine, 10 speed automatic. We will make sure to stop by. That is fantastic. Perfect. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you.